25th. We're off again for the weekend. We're in a convoy of five and we're headed towards Tumbler Ridge. Uh, it's 11 o'clock at night, so it's a late start. So we're gonna head uh, to this little camp spot I know about an hour away and uh, set up camp for the night. We arrived at our site well after midnight and quickly set up camp. We anticipate a long day tomorrow and it's going to be a hot one. If you're familiar with our other videos, you may have noticed we do not have our rooftop tent with us. We're changing things up a bit, and while we wait for our ground tent to arrive, we're going to improvise by using our ARV awning and bug room as our shelter this weekend. Thunder Creek Campground, that's where we spent the night. We're just all packed up now at uh, 10.30 and we're headed out. So we're gonna hit the Heritage Highway up here and probably turn right and head towards Tumbler Ridge. And we're, I think we'll travel about 60 or 70 kilometers before we turn off and start heading in, into our first set of balls. We plan to visit three separate falls today, two of which are in Monkman Provincial Park. This park covers almost 63,000 hectares of diverse natural landscapes encompassing extensive alpine meadows, jagged mountain peaks, forest valleys, thundering waterfalls, and clear alpine lakes. stopped at beautiful Stony Lake so Milo could have a splash. It's so important to make sure your pets have plenty of water and a place to cool off, especially during a heat wave. Quintet Coal Mine was a steel making coal mine for 18 years until the year 2000 when unfavorable market conditions forced it to close. It remains closed to this day. Wildfire starting here. 
we got to try and slow it down. So we've called 911 and the fire department are on their way. We did what we could to keep the flames under control until the fire crews arrived. This fire started because of arcing power lines and very hot and dry conditions. This is forest fire season and we must all do our part to protect against wildfires. This fire was brought under control by fire crews and quick thinking volunteers. We're not always so lucky. The hiking trail to Barber Falls is about a kilometer long, which seems a lot longer at plus 37 degrees. were named after Harry Barber, who served as a forest ranger in the area for over 25 years. You hot, buddy? He's laying down in the stream. From Barber Falls, we traveled for about an hour and a half through dusty back roads to our next destination, Canuso Falls. Canuso Falls is a 70 meter waterfall situated on the Murray River, which flows through the northern tip of Monkman Provincial Park in the Northern Rockies of BC. Canuso is Cree for fish and was named for the large number of trout observed above and below the falls.
while milo and i waited at the top of the falls jason devon mike and taylor made the perilous journey to the bottom of the falls where conditions were similar to being in a hurricane That killed me. Yeah. Did you survive it? Just barely. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Me too. <laughs> Holy jeez. Well, we're just leaving Canusto Falls. Wow is all I can say. Is it ever awesome? I highly recommend if you can get out this way to make sure you stop by this place. It is beautiful here. Last minute bonus waterfall, I think. Hopefully, Canary Falls. It says it's 100 meters. Let's see if we can get to it. <laughs> yeah, that's 36 degrees C out, and Milo needs to cool off in the beaver pond. <laughs> So it's still 35 degrees Celsius. And finally, after all the drive today, hey Mike, did you get a flat? Oh shit. Well, Mike got a flat tire. He was one of the ones that chose not to air down. Michael, your spare tire thingy is still hanging on the ground. We weren't able to find a suitable site at Moose Lake, so we continued on the road until we found an open area in the hills above.
After a long, hot day of exploring some beautiful waterfalls, we enjoyed an amazing steak dinner, then sat back and watched the sun set and planned tomorrow's trip to Speaker Mountain. The temperatures are staying in the high 30s, low 40s tomorrow, so we should enjoy the nice break from the heat on the mountaintop. Please join us next time as we continue exploring the waterfalls and mountain peaks around Tumbler Ridge, BC. We hope you enjoyed the waterfalls. Let's go to the mountain peaks.